You waited a long time, but it was worth it. Yeah, I, I, I'm really happy, and I, I'm really, I feel really lucky at the same time. I, I knew I could, uh, I could do well, but for sure not, not to win. There are uh, plenty of uh, uh, better riders, especially in, in a prologue. It's a, such a short prologue like this, but. Uh, yeah, Australia helped me. The weather of Australia helped me. So in the end, uh, I'm, I'm, I really appreciate uh, the effort that all my team put to me in, to give me the, the best product, the best material, the best support. I just uh, have to pedal full gas for six and a half minutes. So that's <laughs> easy. You make it sound simple. How much of the strategy was last night looking at the forecast and making the decision to be the first rider to go? Yeah, the strategy was uh, a little bit different. Um, I asked the, the sport director to, to start first because I, I think I have enough experience to tell to, to Mikel and to Sean, uh, our, my two other teammates, to the, the, the better corner and the better way to, to do this time trial. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I see Mikel crash and uh, in the end I, I win. I mean, I, I'm still surprising. I, I'm really happy and uh, yeah, it, was, was not a lot of strategies. You have to learn the corner, and uh, sometimes uh, you need to be lucky. And the ambition to hold that jersey all the way to the end? Yeah, I mean, for the moment, I enjoy this jersey because uh, I like this race, and I, I will be really proud to wear uh, the jersey of uh, Santos Tour Down Under tomorrow morning, and then we will see. It's, uh, it's still a long, uh, it's a long week. We just started. It's a prologue. Uh, the real race starts tomorrow. Bueno, triunfo para Alberto Betiol en el prólogo del Tour Down Under y líder de la general. El italiano fue cuarto en largar de los 139 que tomaron la partida y aprovechó el piso seco para marcar un gran registro. Porque luego vino la lluvia y esto trajo dificultades para el resto de los corredores, incluidos los favoritos para la etapa entonces felicitaciones al italiano alberto betiol y al equipo education ac post